What's up to all our sidekicks and henchmen out there in the Geek Nation? I am JD, owner of Johnny Destructo's Hero Complex at 4327 Main Street in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and I am here to bring you a Thunder Round. At its core, it's just a 60-second review of a book. And today is new comic book day. It's Wednesday. So I'm going to talk about a book that's coming out today. You can go to your local comic shop, whether it's me or somewhere else near you, and pick it up. It's from Donny Cates and Jeff Shaw. It's from Image Comics. And Diamond has this to say about it. The creative powerhouse is behind the best-selling, critically acclaimed God Country, Thanos Wins, and Redneck returns for the biggest launch of the year. Imagine everything you thought was fantasy was real. And now join us in a world where reality is dead and anything is possible. So that's basically the little blurb, right, from Diamond Comics. And I am pretty excited to check this book out and to talk to you about it. I'm a big Donny Cates fan. I just recently, in the past year or so, became aware of him as a writer. I never really paid him much mind. I didn't really know much about him. And then I read Thanos Wins, and I friggin' loved it. And I, this, it was one of those things where I went, wait, who wrote this? Donny? Oh, okay. I'm going to remember this name. So uh, I really enjoyed Thanos Wins. We did God Country, another one of his books, for book club at my shop. We all really enjoyed that. And I've really been enjoying what he's been doing with Venom and Absolute Carnage and now Thor. He's been writing the heck out of a lot of books recently, and I've been really enjoying them. So I was really curious to see what this book was going to be. Crossover. I didn't know anything about it. I just got it because it had the name Donny Cates on it and Jeff Shaw, who was the artist for God Country as well. It's got a nice cover stock, which feels nice. The page stock is nice. And... It feels like a solid issue. It feels like you're getting your money's worth. So, all right, I am going to put 60 seconds on the clock and go. So basically what Donny Cates is doing here is he is bringing the world of comic books, all of the, apparently all of the different uh, DC, Marvel, all of the different superheroes, and he's importing them into the real world. And what happens when all of these super powerful characters show up and have a giant battle in the real world. Uh, they show up on a specific date in a specific city, and I'm not entirely sure why those two things were chosen. I wonder if we're going to find out. But it, our main characters in, work in a comic book shop, and it deals with what happens to comic books and how they're perceived when comic books become real. And uh, they deal with religion, they deal with um, the comic book industry, with retailers, with comic shops... And what happens when these two worlds collide? And I think it's off to a great start. I'm really interested to see where this is going. And I'm definitely going to be reading more of it as it comes out. Um, I think it's really solid. That's the timer. Bam. So uh, I'm going to go over a little bit and say, I think the only problem with this book is the logistics, the legalities of it, right? So if this was a an indie comic and they didn't have to worry about getting sued, uh, they could have all of these actual characters show up from the different companies. I am, I'm curious to see if any other characters are going to show up that we're actually aware of, or if these are all going to be pastiches, pastiches, is that a word? And of like different characters, right? So let's say for instance, Superman, um, are they, they're not going to be able to use Superman, I assume. So are they just going to have a different version of Superman, um, like a knockoff version. I, it's a shame that you can't have all of the actual characters in the series. I think that that would really elevate the series. But the fact that we have to deal with approximations of those characters, I think, is a bummer. But of course, that's just the nerd in me going like, oh, I wish we could use all these actual characters. But I mean, obviously, I don't think they're going to be able to do that. So I'm really curious to see moving forward how this is going to go. What did you guys think of crossover number one? Are you Donny Cates fans? Do you like him? Do you have a favorite series by him? Talk to me about it. Comment below. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when we go live, which is every Sunday at 1030 a.m. where we do the live comic book discussion stream.
on YouTube at 10.30 a.m. every Sunday. And we review that week's books. We also do a bunch of Thunder Rounds, which are little videos like this. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to go read some more comics and open up my shop. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I'll talk at you later. Cold Pop!